Okay guys, here we're going to look at surface area of prisms. And surface area, just so you know, is the combined area of all of the exposed faces of a prism. So basically, it's the area of every single face combined. So one method for doing surface area is to find, especially for prisms, is to use the pairings of their faces. So for example, here the front and the back are identical rectangles. And this only works for rectangular prisms, but it's a good method. Those, those two rectangles are both 5 by 13 rectangles. And one method you could do is build a net. And so those would be the, the front and the back faces. And then I have my top and bottom faces. Those, if you look at the bottom of that, is a 13 by 4. I can see that on the bottom of that prism there. So those are both 13 by 4. So I would have both 13 by 4 rectangles that fit into my net. And then the side faces of the leftover faces there, they are a 4, and you can see that on the bottom right of the figure, and a 5, you can see that all the way on the left of the figure. Those are 4 by 5s, and they fit right here on my net. So you could draw a net and then figure out the individual areas of each rectangle, and you could try to find surface area that way. I personally think that that is difficult. I think drawing a net is very difficult. So we're going to try to find surface area just by looking at the figure and breaking apart each face one at a time. Take a look at what I mean. So first let's just do the front and the back. So this, with, with prisms, with rectangular prisms, it's always about the pairs. So the front and the back are identical rectangles. There's your rectangle area formula. They're both 5 by 13 rectangles. So that would be 65 a piece, which is 130 for the two of those. So let's take a look at the top and the bottom. They're identical rectangles. They're both 13 by 4s. So two 13, or 13 by 4 is a 52, and two of those would be 104. The last two rectangles would be the side ones. And then that will be all six sides. So they're also rectangles. Those ones are 5 by 4 rectangles. So the 5 by 4 is 20, two of those is 40. Total surface area, when you add all that up, would be 274 units squared. Those are square units because we're doing surface area. So that's a rectangular prism. Hopefully those aren't too bad. Triangular prism, a little bit tougher. Uh, got a lot more different shapes here. So, and, and you only have one pair here. You have the triangle bases. There's two triangle bases. The area formula is one half base times height, and you need the perpendicular parts. That's a right triangle. The perpendicular parts on that right triangle are 12 and 5. So plugging it in would be one half times 5 times 12. So one of them is worth 30, and then two of them are worth 60. So that would be the two triangle bases. On this particular triangular prism, those are the only faces that match. All the other faces are actually individual rectangles. So we're going to look at all three rectangles right now. They're all length times width to find their areas. So let's take a look at this little one up front. That is a 5 by 8. That's a 5 by 8 rectangle, which would be worth 40. Then we got this one right up here in front in green. That's a 12 by 8. That's a 96 square unit rectangle. And then we got the one in the back over there. That is a 13 by 8 rectangle, which is 104. Total surface area, I'm just going to add all of those numbers up. So I got my 60, 40, 96, 104, and I get 390 square units for the entire thing. So those were the two basic prisms. All right, hopefully you're feeling good.